Hey boys. So I have a few new things I can show you guys that we've added to the farm. I know it's been um, a long time coming. I haven't really put out much videos lately. Um, just been a little busy. One of the things that we've added to the farm is we did some raised garden beds. We have some tomatoes, some garden peas, some zucchini. I went a little wild with my cucumbers. Some more peas. And then some beans. Raina, what are you doing? Let's stay out. Of, let's stay out of the corn bin, okay? okay? No, you don't need to get all dusty. Let's close it. Close the door. Yep, close the door. Close the door. Good job. You like to close? You wanted to feed the cows? Yeah. Okay, we'll feed them in a little bit. Okay. It's not quite supper time yet. So anyways, I was saying there's been a few more additions to the farm. One of the additions is, is we decided to add 11, 11 guinea hens to um, the farm. Um, I basically got them because I did some research and apparently they're supposed to leave your garden alone. And there's a lot of ticks out here, so that's the, kind of the main reason why I got them. So I got these guys right before Memorial Day weekend. They're doing good. And then, yeah, right now, dogs, get out. We'll shut the door. Riley, get. So anyways, as I was saying, we got these guys to kind of keep the ticks under control. And then um, we got some new guys down in here. There's a duck and then there's five other guineas. There's two whites, uh, two grays, and then just a standard, I don't know what you call them. But they just get a mix of chick starter and I threw some mealworms in there for them as well. Raina likes to feed the chickies. What are those, Raina? So yeah, these guys will get a little bit bigger. They can fly already, but they are uh, just a little bit small yet and I want to let them out. Raina likes to torment them. <laughs> My chicken coop is basically just a old fish house. That is, uh, I built these nesting boxes a few years ago, and there actually is holes cut in the floor. Do you want me to catch you a chickie? Yeah, you, you want to hold one? I think you're crazy. Uh, hey. Alright, that's enough. Come here, let's go. Open your chicken, Papa. Let's go show everyone else what else we added to the farm. Come on. Come on. The dogs didn't bug our chickens too much, but I... I don't know how they're going to do with the guineas. Oh. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. We've already gotten one crop of hay done so far. The stuff is really nice. It's 70% alfalfa, 25% orchard grass. And as soon as you dig into here, it just turns into green gold. It's just beautiful, beautiful hay. So if anybody's looking for hay, but probably the biggest addition that we have to the farm is right on the other side. If you follow us on Facebook, you probably already know. But this is Lyric. She had a filly on Friday. 
And so it's been kind of fun watching her run around and play. Just going to get a quick snack here. She's a little spunky. But for only being a couple days old. What do you think, sweetheart? She still doesn't have a name yet. I'm terrible at naming animals. It takes me a while. She's going to go in and get a little milk. What do you think, sweetheart? But she's got these nice long legs. Her favorite part is getting scratched. <laughs> you like Layla? <laughs> you see your favorite horse? Is she nice? Yeah. Raina got to compete in her first horse show a couple weeks ago, riding Layla. A few of the other projects that we've had going on is uh, hauling out some manure. Our yard has been pretty sloppy and last year it was wet and we never really got it cleaned out how we wanted. So the last couple weeks, Jim's been working on getting this all scraped out. We hired someone to come out and help as well, just to kind of keep up with some of the stuff. As you can see, the yard still looks like a little bit of a mess, but this will all be um, smoothed out. We're going to put a lean-to on the side of the shed here. Probably move the wood boiler down. And then on the other side, where Lyric is with the full, we're going to move the stalls from inside the shed. And we will uh, move them into here so Jim's shop's a little bit bigger to work on stuff. And then in the winter time, we'll be able to pull the feed mixer in and have plenty of room. And then uh, that old granary back there that's kind of falling apart. We will be moving that out of there. This will be our sorting alley and system. Um, it's kind of tore apart right now just because we needed some of the panels, but the cows will come up here. They'll go into our system. And then once they're done, they'll be flushed down here and they'll come right back into here into a pen. So, so lots of projects going on. Hopefully I can Get some videos posted soon. This is what we call our fat pen. These girls right here are ones that are going to be hauled in for butcher. Um, some of them, like this one right here, she ended up aborting a set of twins earlier this year. That 139, she was a heifer this year, but she turned out not to be such a good mom. And then uh, the one back there, she's in here due to no fault of her own. Her calf ended up getting sick. And then this 217, we're just calling her out. She doesn't produce as much milk as we'd like. That's her calf. That's our uh, bottle calf that we've had. Um, he's doing good now. We weaned him off a bottle, but we'll keep her here the longest just so that he can nurse longer. They get pretty tame once you start feeding them a few buckets of corn a day. You want to feed the cow some corn? Yeah. It's a little early for that. You want to you want to feed them now? No, open the corn. Open the corn. Okay. What do we do with the corn? What do we What do we do with the corn? What? How? You're just gonna go make a mess. Oh. 
Mom. Now what? Do we fill the buckets? No. Can you fill a bucket for me? No. Good job. You fill it up. Okay? Good job. The cows are hungry. You get that nice and full. Mommy help you? Yeah. Woo. Can you get some more in there? Yeah. Mom will help you. Every morning and every night, we give them two buckets of grain. The wind gets you just right. It'll dust you with some corn. A couple years ago, Jim ended up making these feed bucks, bunks and they're really, really nice. You are full of dust. Can you say hi to the camera? Show hi. them how dirty you are. Say hi. Is that fun? What is that? Feet. Oh yeah, that's your feet. But what is this? Corn. What is this? Corn. Corn. You are crazy. Are you trying to catch a kitty? You gotta be faster than that. Say here, kitty kitty. Oh. Raina wants to hold you. There you go. A kitty's getting too big to hold, huh? A kitty. What are you doing? You like to ride horsey? Well, folks, that's about all that I have to show that would be new and exciting anyways. Um, I'll try and get some more videos posted here soon. We'll have plenty of projects coming up. Can you say bye, Raina? Say bye-bye. <laughs>